The equator dates back to 1888. It's sat here on the Everett waterfront and dry dock since the 1960s. A few years ago, the stern collapsed, and the Port of Everett determined that this ship's days were sunk. 56 and a half. Archaeologists from Texas A&M University meticulously measure every inch of the equator. So you're at 13 now? The 135-year-old ship was originally a schooner, once chartered by Treasure Island author Robert Louis Stevenson. It was later converted to a tugboat that worked in Puget Sound until being scuttled along the Everett waterfront. A group later raised the equator, planning to restore it, but it simply sat dilapidated and decaying for nearly 60 more years. Preservation is no longer an option. Its beams bulging and bowing, if the ship could make a sound, it would probably groan. The equator is essentially a shipwreck on dry land, but researchers say its current condition is actually a good thing. This is amazing information for us to have, this framing system that creates that backbone of the ship. Because it's falling apart, they can see the boat's bones and its guts. Researchers are taking such exacting care in their measurements, they say they'd be able to actually build an exact replica of the boat. I'm making note that our x-axis is in decimals. Instead, it'll be scrapped. Parts will likely be used in public art. The equator's sailing day is done, but it's history will live. Of course, wooden vessels aren't uh, intended to live forever. And so we're at that point right now where we want to make sure her legacy lives on and her story can be told. It wasn't just a ship. It was the people on board and the different industries it was involved with. Your last chance to see the equator up close and personal is this Thursday. The Port of Everett is hosting an open house. It'll be happening from three to seven. In Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.